Hey stampers, it's Gator again and I'm coming back with a different type of stationery box. I know we only did one a couple of weeks back but I'm loving them and I'm getting to store more items in them. I think they're brilliant. So I'm going to be using the Sweet Sweet Moments designer series paper only because it's thin enough and it's not double sided so I won't be wasting. So yeah. So for you, I'm going to make a fair size one because I want to be able to get cards, envelopes, cello bags and into one because we're going to have, it's just going to open like this. So it's just going to stand like that with a lid on. And then we're going to have stationary boxes inside as well to hold other things. So you need two pieces of chipboard, six by seven and one at two and a half by seven because it's going to be two and a half inches wide. So hence my designer series paper, that's, all, that's going to be the back, this is going to be the front and that's going to be the underneath. But first of all, I'm just going to grab my, when I can find it, I should have got it out earlier, there it is. I'm using a bit of gaffer tape as they call it over here, or duct tape. Apparently it keep, strengthens your hinges. So just going to line them up. I want about an eighth of an inch gap. Brilliant stuff this. Oh, and again, about an eighth of an inch gap. That's about right. Keeping it on that line here. Yeah. Sorry it's loud. A little bit more. It's just, you don't have to be precise and right the way to the ends if you don't want to. Just help when I come to fold this up. Get the air bubbles out. If it does overlap, just tuck it round. No one's going to see. It's going to have paper on. It just helps to keep it flexible. Try not to get bubbles in if you can help it, but. You know, if you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. So it's kept that gap for me. It's very strong stuff. That's about right. So keeping me little gaps apart. just helps it more flexible and it stops it from cracking apparently. Never tried it before so it's always uh, nice to give something else a chance if it helps make it last longer. Very sticky stuff. So I'm going to go in one more in the centre. Perfect, and that first piece just needs a bit of work. Smooth that. Right, there we go. Yay! So they're perfectly now not going to move and wreck so good tip so i've got piece three pieces like i'm saying this is one inch bigger all round so that's going to get attached to there 
centre piece then is going to go in between because I want it to run up the sides as well. And then this piece is going to go on the end. The, the two larger ones for these are cut at 8 by 9 and the middle one is cut at 5 by 9. That way we've got, we can push that in until we've got an inch border all the way round. So I'm just flipping it all over and then we're going to attach. So what I'm going to do is leave those two in their place, get this tape and I'm just going to add tape. I'm going to be using glue as well, this is just to keep them in place whilst I attach everything. So I want the bottom bit to lock up the side and then we can add some borders maybe in. Just depends how straight we get it. <laughs> so if I keep that there as straight as possible and that I'm on that line, this on this line I'm not going to add the glue yet, I'm going to add the glue in a sec, I'm just putting these two pieces together. So. It's not too bad at all. And then, like I say, we can add border strips over these pieces if we want to. If you want to, you could peel that back, but I'm just going to add a bit of glue just to keep these flaps from. And I'm using the Arlene's glue because it comes out faster and it gives me a little bit of wiggle space. I don't know why I keep going up with these things. Too bad tiny little fraction I mean a hairline fraction out there but these are gonna get killed over now so we won't see that anyway so we're gonna make sure the tape stays downwards so we've got a good inch all the way round and like I say I'm gonna cover it now anyway so I'm just gonna lift I'm just gonna actually turn this over and squirt this glue everywhere Keep it all the other edges. Plenty on there. And like I say, it doesn't matter if it oozes out because we're just going to tuck it round anyway. So I think that should be fine. So, right, I'm putting that back on the inch that on there and then I'm just gonna flip this over whoops she says flipping it clumsy clogs <laughs> I could drop everything and then it's moved again and I'm just gonna lay it down giving me about an inch border all the way round perfect perfect I'm going to give that a smooth in. I'm just going to give that a groove. I'm going to turn that off. Oh, whoops. There you go. I've got Wiggle's face with the Arlene, see? that right out. 
it will come together a little pretty bit quicker. So there we go, we've got that all stuffed down. I'm going to grab my scissors. I'll use my big ones, I think. And just going to... And what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue them onto there. So if I don't have enough and you, there's a gap, you won't see it. Same with that one. Just going to glue them on the corners. Because knowing my luck, I never get enough paper left. And they always end up with a gap. But we are going to add paper on the inside as well. I think that's fabulous. So let's get some gluing done. Again, that'll give me some wiggle space as well. I'm forever looking at how to get the corners bang on. And when we were in school, you forget these things until you, you know until you get like a, like a little history lesson back into your life. And you think, oh yes, do you remember when we used to do so and so and so and so? Well, that's how I remember this. Don't worry, you're going to have paper on the inside as well. This just helps to protect. So you don't get any white gaps in there. It's only going to have, it's only going to sit on my desk. I've been sorting out my shelves again today and removing the stuff that's going to retire. And I counted everything. I have sold in the past three years with stamping up about 100 stamp sets. That's all. Uh, that's all she says. And today I counted once June comes, I will have. 235 retired stamp sets. I oh, know. So, just gonna burnish that over now. So when this side comes up, look, I knew I wouldn't have enough, enough there, but you, you, it's got the white. So, I'm gonna add some glue. Might even make a few of these and put them up filled with nice handmade cards and envelopes and little um, tags and make because I'm ordering the new what they're called oh the memories of more packs and I'm making one of the inner boxes three by four so we can get the little cards in there so cute that is I'm going to start off with the sides first Oh, I might have enough there to see. Oh, we will on that one. Perhaps I should have left it like it's one and a half inch gap all around. You live and learn, don't you? I'll make the mistake so you don't have to. Isn't that cute? So it's going to basically stand up like this and have a lid on it. It's not going to have no sides. So now I'm just fetching that over. It's still damp, see, with the Arlene's glue, but it will dry. And we've got nice square corners. So I'm going to get some glue in that in. Oh, flashing everything over here. It's a little bit soaky, but it will dry. I have used the Arlene's glue before. So that is a perfect corner, that. Look at that, fabulous. This one, out a little bit, but 
because we had the white. Pressing these grooves as well. That's what you have to be careful about it poking out here. Don't worry about that because uh, you just don't want it to peel back on itself. Perfect. Oh, I can't wait for this to dry out properly now. And see there? I'm going to put plenty in there. Look at it. I got the dropsies. right down check them nice a little bit of oh it's not there's still a little bit damp from the glue but it will go I promise so we've just got this last side to tuck over always burnish as you go in So cute when it's done. Oh look, that one's perfect as well. That one's a little bit short, but at least we've got the white there. I'm gonna turn this round and have look at this is coming up there. Perhaps this Arlene's glue is not that good after all. Yeah, I've heard loads of women say they, they like it. going to all get covered over anyway so don't worry about that at the minute even though my OCD is just kicking in I don't know why I'm going to cover that <laughs> so on this bit I'm going to add some tape because I wish I had done it there now but the gaffer tape brilliant idea I'm going to add, add glue as well, but at least it will have it stuck down. Sounds like Mr. Boyce is making coffee. Ooh, that'd be nice. So we'll get your air bubbles out your paper, uh, your cardboard too. I think this is going to be pretty quick. Just hope. And it's the first one I'm making, so if it does mess up, then I've made the messes, not you. So I'm going to get some glue in the corners. And this one. And right along in that groove. as you lift you don't want this paper coming up that is coming up come from the other paper so I'm going to put the Arlene's away now I'm going to use my good stuff well my second to the best stuff has that just going to squirt some glue in there and finish this down as we lift that up Oh, beautiful corner, look. Perfect. Finish that top and bottom. So it stands up to a 45 degree angle. It doesn't have to 
go any further. I'm going to have to see here. A bit more glue in there. It's where the overlap is. My fault. I didn't think that these things through properly, do I? <laughs> that always turns out okay. So, as long as the paper isn't cracking. So this is going to be the front. And this is going to be the back. Oh, look at that. I hope that dries out. Uh, so I've got, for the front, this piece. Why is it too wide? Oh, slightly too wide. I don't know why that is. I know why I cut it to seven and a quarter instead of... Oh, I'm a silly billy gainer. Need to be seven. They need to be six and seven eighths. Why did I get six, seven and a quarter? Six and seven eighths by seven and seven eighths. boxes sitting on there. So let's get these glued in. I'm going to do the back piece first. Gorgeous day again here. So, give a nice little border. I'm not too fussed on this one because this has got perfect corners. It's the other side. I'm going to make sure. I'm going to have to re go over those grooves again. I will see the paper moving then. On its 45 degree angle, keeping that pressed in the whole time. Gonna have boxes sitting on there as well, so you won't really see that. That's perfect. Whoops. Perfect. And then we'll, when we glue the other piece in, we'll have that up as well. So let's get that. This one has got. That's got to go right the way up to the corners. Not too bad, but then I need to get this over. Boy, here comes my knight in shining armour with a cup of coffee. There he is, girls. Oh, we missed a coffee man. <laughs> Thank you, you my darling, you're an angel. Okay. Just what the doctor wanted oh, or needed. Thank you. Oh, he's a lifesaver, you know that, don't you? So that is going to get glued into there now. I, I really do trust this Cosmic Shimmer and the Art Glitter Glue. They're fantastic. I get a tiny little bit of wiggle space with, the art, uh, with this one. So that's why I'm using it, because I need to make sure glued into place. The reason I folded that a little bit is because obviously that's what we've got to do to keep that down but I want to make sure I've got plenty of glue on this section as well. 
I've just put my wrist in it. The box is going to look neater on the inside than the out now. So, I'm just going to lay this down and get this as close to the top as possible. Burnishing that all the way up there. And then lifting my angle up so I can push that into the groove. Crikey, what's wrong with this one now? That's it, that's better. And then lift that up. See what I mean? I've got to get that down and in there. Of course, all these paper layers. I'll show you my gaff uh, graphic 45, shouldn't I? Because the paper is so much stronger. Or I should have left a bit more of a gap in there. Why does this feel like it's going horribly wrong? It's that paper underneath. It's that one. It's lifted up. won't be too bad now when we get um, our little boxes popped in there. So that's going to come up there. Perfect. Whoops. Flashing my legs off. <laughs> I got my nighty on. <laughs> so that's going to be the front. We're going to add some beautiful labels. I'm going to have a nice lid. I'm going to get this glue off all my fingers and I'm covered in it. Perfect. So I'm going to leave that to one side in that shape if I can while it just has a little dry off. That's it. And I'm going to talk about the next piece which is going to be the large inner box so this is four and a half by six and three quarters is it going that way yeah inch other side and these are four and a half by one so no it is that way Another one. Don't I? I need a one that width because let me grab a piece of paper to show you. Um, grab a piece of scrap out the bin. Oh! For these now, it's going to be the box, and then it's going to have an extra inch which is these and then another inch to wrap around and then I'm gonna I need an inch there don't I and leave a gap all the way round so that needs to go like that with a gap that needs to go like that with a gap and then we're gonna wrap this round and we're going to score this, I think. Oh, I'm lost now. <laughs> I had it in my head and it's gone peak tongue. Have a swig of coffee. Mm. Makes it all so much better. Yes. So I do need a piece. I luckily enough have a piece of chipboard here. That was six and three quarters. That is six, six and a quarter, or six and a half, six and three quarters. By one inch. I 
and I may need one for there which is four and a half by one inch the other little box there we go I love the guillotine it's brilliant for this sort of stuff and I just throw me flap in the bin <laughs> there we go Oh, we get there in the end. So I want them Oh they can come down. I've got to glue that into place now. Whoops, there we go, to that side. And then we're gonna wrap it round like a, a book and create like this the board itself but with the paper being attached to the back so we'll trim this down then this is the good stuff I'll try and keep that straight And then I'm going to add this Does that look straight? Oh, he's going to get that round anyway, so and then we're going to make some like anchor points to hold the inside into the, the back of the book. And these are four and a half by one. I'm just playing this by ear. I'm not even, I've never made one. I'm just playing by ear. <laughs> Making it up as we go along. Oh, I've got plenty of space there. Oh, what all that dust has come off. What's that? Oh, off that piece of paper out the bin. So fold that over. I was in boxing earlier. Oh. And then fold those over. And then that you will get folded over. Fold this over and that'll get folded over as well. I'm going to do a little bit of trimming off in a minute. That will get folded over there. So we don't need that much now in there. So I know roughly where to take off. So I'm going to get my big scissors. And I'm just going to cut below where I just marked. Snip that there. In fact, I'm going to do that like a V and I'm going to remove that piece. I'm going to snip that off there. And that piece there. And I'm going to cut that into a V. Can you tell I like to make things? <laughs> so that's going to get folded. So we can remove that piece. We don't need that bit. We don't need that bit really. It's... Let's try to cut 
be into there and remove that bit. That's it. I don't need this one. So that's going to get tucked up. That will get folded over in there. That bit will get, I don't need that bit there. Can you tell I really am just making this up as we go along? So that will get folded in and there and glued in and that will as well. So I'm going to tidy that end up with my little scissors. This is going to be on the inside so I might turn to that corner. And just nip that little piece off. That piece will go into there so I'll straighten that up. I want to try and attach these. So again, bear with me, it will work, I promise. Fold that over. And again, I'm going to remove this section and that section. I'm going to remove that section. And that one. So let's just glue these down before my glue decides not to work. going to see inside this unless they go nose in. So why am I glued them down? Right so this is gonna sit like this and this is gonna sit like this. We can glue those together glue those together and then that is going to sit inside our box like that. Do you get me now? Clear off the end. Let's just fetch this in now. See it's starting to dry out now it looks a lot better. I've got a little bit of a crease there. So we're working on the back bit reason that hasn't glued all the way down but so this is going to sit in there and it's going to get glued like that onto the back there and onto the back there and down on the bottom do you get me now oh you're going to see them flaps on the inside Oh, perhaps I might have to slide a piece in. Don't worry. Right, the bottom bit first. This is going to sit on the bottom. So we didn't really need that cardboard in the end, so I might not use it on the other one because it's got cardboard down there. And this flap. push that right in there and push that down there because that is going to sit right on the bottom there. If you wanted to right now you could decorate the inside before you close it onto your box and glue it in there if you wanted to. 
that's going to sit upright and that's going to sit on there like that but it's going to be filled with cards so I'm going to leave that now just for a sec to go off I've got a tiny little gap all over where I've got not so much tiny on that side but I've got a bit of a gap on this side I was just going to get punched punched and <laughs> glued down there and then we can glue those sides in I wanted it either side equal but it's more over this side it's too late now is it so I'm just going to tidy these ends might them in and I'm going to do the same at the tops just a little bit so we see a little bit less There's a method to my madness and I'm going to get there in the end. <laughs> so that now, that flap is keeping that in. That is glued to the very bottom. And now we're going to glue those two sides in. Keeping them at a 90 degree angle while it dries. I think it's going to add glue both sides now. Oh, come on. I reckon you don't have to use chipboard. I reckon you could have got away with cardstock. But I want it to last. Right, now. 90 degree angle. Fetch this up. Just close one side at a time and then slide that one in and just hold it into place. Oops, not too tight obviously. I'm going to go in with my bone folder just till that paper adheres. Same on this side. that on there for a minute. Perfect, I'm going to make another little box in a minute. A little one then to sit in the middle or you could do two, one that side and one that side and have, like we did with the, the cards that the gorgeous Donna sent in and I made the little, the little box she made and the cards she made so we could put them all towards the prizes. So I look like I've got a third skin because I'm peeling. So that is that first little box. Isn't that cute? And when our lid comes up, it will sit and hold everything in place. It's so cute. Love it. Look at my fingers peeling. So again, I'm going to leave that there. Weigh something in that jam. No, it's too wide. And grab some blocks. I just want to keep it upright for a minute. There we go. Yeah, that got it. I think. Right. Now for this piece. Do you know what? I'm gonna add the paper. And then I might just get card stuck. Because that's going to go that way, sorry. No, why have I cut that too small? I have no flaps on this one. I've cut it to the actual size of the box, not the actual giving me any flaps. Ooh, silly sausage. Hmm. 
just going to use that beautiful green paper to go in there. Let's see if I've got any left. Oh, oh it's not wide enough. Definitely not. <laughs> Don't worry because I use a different colour card otherwise. I might just use that. Because it's on the bottom of the box and the side. So let's fetch it on the inside too. We can always trim off the excess. So this is three and a half by four and a half. Three and a half by one. Got plenty of space all the way around on this one. I am going to do that same lip, but I'm going to lift it up just so I've got enough of a flap so I can adhere it to the sides and down below. So again, my battery's going to die shortly, but I've got one charging. Yes, it's charged. If I disappear, I'll be straight back, but I'll leave that there. Let's get these glued into place now. I suppose you could do this with the hot glue gun if you were careful enough. I need to put the main piece in first. An open sided stationary box. So give yourself about an eighth of an inch because it's only paper this time. It's paper last time, but lots of it. We had loads of layers. I know what was going on in my head, but I'm trying to show you on paper what I'm doing now. It's coming off my head. <laughs> nice little gap, and we can check that by just standing that up. You can fold it over like that, then you've got enough space. These are going to be your sides to glue in. We're just getting our rough marks by scoring and folding these pieces. And again, that way as well. So we're getting our score lines. So we don't have to worry about scoring because it's all here for us. So you can see the squares now. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to mitre this a little bit. And remove those. And remove that one. And just snip that into the base. So that's going to get glued up there. And that's going to get glued in there. Same with this one. and wrap around there and that's going to go around there. Now for our top bit. And we can do the same there. So we can cut that into a V and remove one. Cut this 
this one off. We can just give them a little mitre. Same on this side. Where's that? That one's moved a lot. slightly and now we can get some gluing done it all works out in the end girls all works out in the end Isn't that right we get there we do it these little flaps you want to glue down for a second I know it might seem strange but I know what I'm doing I think oh is anyone else watching Game of Thrones OMG week two I can't wait now for next week another week to wait Four more episodes and it'll be over forever. Never coming back on. Oh. Now this flap gets glued right down there. Just put my pin in for a minute. Stretch that over. So again, this will get glued on the bottom and this will get glued on the side and same on these. So they will all sit up nice and square. You could even glue them into place there, get your 45 degree angle. That one's moved quite away from there a little, but we can manage that. So let me do that actually, see if it works that way. Try something new every day. Nice little 45 degree angle there. This one's a little bit further away. Can you see that in the corner? So what I'm going to have to do there is just pull that in. That other cute little box, isn't that cute? Oh, and then just fetch this in, that's all nice and sturdy now. And then this one is going to get glued. You can either do it in the center, which I think I am, that is just so cute. I wish to put, and you can cut a piece of paper then, I suppose, if you want to put it in, see it in the inside and just drop it down. So again, oh, I've just lost my pin. All because that piece was pushed too far over. Right. 
I nearly glued the sides then, and when I don't want to glue the sides, it's this back piece. Right phase going on with me making boxes and stationary things. So I'll pop that in, whatever you want it now. Just pop that there. Right. You've got to make sure you push it right to the very bottom of your box. So it's glued in and then rub your bone folder in there. going to squash those together just for a second. They're not going to get squashed permanently because they're going to sit with the lid on. Isn't that cute? I think I should have made them with cardstock. No, I like it. I like it a lot actually. a bit creaky but just gonna get a bit more glue in there Perfect. I don't mind that it oozes out the side a little bit at least we know it's glued all the way in and all the way around perhaps we should have added connectors So sweet. So there's the two inner boxes. I'm gonna have a swig of my coffee. I might go, oh I don't know what to do now. But it's just so sweet. It is drying out the paper is lovely. Perfect. Got the odd little bump, but we can disguise that with some uh, with some clever decoration. So I'm gonna pop the lid back on just for a minute. I'm going to have a swig of my coffee and then I'm going to change the battery and I'll be back in a flash. You won't even know I've gone. <laughs> I wondered where that paper had gone. There, it's come off. So I'll be back in a flash now. I'm just going to swap my battery over. See you in two. <laughs> 